International Overdose Awareness Day is next week, and one mother is working to help others after losing her son to a deadly drug earlier this year. Grayson Gordon joins us now in the studio, and Grayson, tell us what she's doing. Cindy David, she is hoping to help others by making sure everyone knows what to do if someone is overdosing before it's too late, and she told me today that this is her way of grieving. Ronald Swalford III was Tammy Setliff's first child. As a single mother raising three children, Timmy says she relied on Ron. I always called him my backbone. Ron began struggling with drug addiction as a teenager, but had been doing well in recovery for about a year. I had talked to him a few minutes before, and he was he had not had a good day, and he was said he was going to sleep, and I let him go, and then he came here to this hotel, and I got a phone call through the night. That phone call was one Timmy would not forget. Her son overdosed on fentanyl and was on life support. Timmy says he was found in his truck and had been robbed in the parking lot of the in-town suites on Lee Highway. They took his stuff and they just left him. You know, that, I, that he would have gave them anything. Anything he had, he would have gave to you. This is not so uncommon in the area. Fentanyl was the leading cause of suspected drug-related deaths in Hamilton County last year. I hate that that wouldn't happen for years. And I always would find him and I stayed on top of him for years, but I let my guard down because I thought he was okay. And he wasn't. Ron was able to donate his organs before he died on January 20th. He was able to save three people's lives with, it, with his life. But left behind his family, including his first child born three weeks after he died. And I think just the stress of life got to him. Now Tammy uses her own devastating experience to help others. She has been selling raffle tickets for a free massage and bracelets to make these full of goodies, hygiene products, and helpful information on what to do and who to call if you or anyone else needs addiction help. Just a bag just to show, you know, that they're not forgotten and that there is help out there. Alongside this, Chattanooga Harm Reduction is partnering with Tammy to hand out Narcan in the county. Hamilton County Coalition has the drug available. If I can save one child's life, then, then I'm doing something in his memory. International Overdose Awareness Day is next week, August 31st. Multiple events are happening in the area leading up to Thursday, including one at the John A. Patton Community Center Friday at 6 p.m. Back to you, Cindy.